Vienna listen, German, Wien, pronounced Vienne, listen, is the federal capital and largest city of Austria, and one of the nine states of Austria. Vienna is Austria's primate city, with a population of about 1.9 million, million within the metropolitan area, nearly one-third of Austria's population, and its cultural, economic, and political centre. It is the seventh largest city by population within city limits in the European Union. Until the beginning of the 20th century, it was the largest German-speaking city in the world, and before the splitting of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in World War I, the city had two million inhabitants. Today, it has the second largest number of German speakers after Berlin. Vienna is host to many major international organizations, including the United Nations and OPEC. The city is located in the eastern part of Austria and is close to the borders of the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Hungary. These regions work together in a European Centrope border region. Along with nearby Bratislava, Vienna forms a metropolitan region with 3 million inhabitants. In 2001, the city centre was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In July 2017 it was moved to the list of World Heritage in Danger. Apart from being regarded as the city of music because of its musical legacy, Vienna is also said to be the city of dreams because it was home to the world's first psychoanalyst, Sigmund Freud. The city's roots lie in early Celtic and Roman settlements that transformed into a medieval and Baroque city, and then the capital of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It is well known for having played an essential role as a leading European music centre, from the great age of Viennese classicism through the early part of the 20th century. The historic centre of Vienna is rich in architectural ensembles, including Baroque castles and gardens, and the late 19th century Ringstrasse lined with grand buildings, monuments, and parks. Vienna is known for its high quality of life. In a 2005 study of 127 world cities, the Economist Intelligence Unit ranked the city first in a tie with Vancouver and San Francisco for the world's most livable cities. Between 2011 and 2015, Vienna was ranked second, behind Melbourne. In 2018, it replaced Melbourne as the number one spot. For eight consecutive years 2009 to 2016, the human resource consulting firm Mercer ranked Vienna first in its annual quality of living survey of hundreds of cities around the world, a title the city still held in 2016. Monocle's 2015 quality of life survey ranked Vienna second on a list of the top 25 cities in the world, to make a base within. The UN Habitat classified Vienna as the most prosperous city in the world in 2012-2013. The city was ranked first globally for its culture of innovation in 2007 and 2008, and sixth globally out of 256 cities in the 2014 Innovation Cities Index, which analyzed 162 indicators in covering three areas, culture, infrastructure, and markets. Vienna regularly hosts urban planning conferences and is often used as a case study by urban planners. Between 2005 and 2010, Vienna was the world's number one destination for international congresses and conventions. It attracts over 6.8 million tourists a year. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> The English name Vienna is borrowed from the homonymous Italian version of the city's name or the French Vienne. The etymology of the city's name is still subject to scholarly dispute. Some claim that the name comes from Vidunia, meaning forest stream, which subsequently produced the Old High German Uwania, Wenia in modern writing, the New High German Wien and its dialectal variant Wien. Others believe that the name comes from the Roman settlement name of Celtic extraction Vindobona, probably meaning Fair village, white settlement. From Celtic roots, vindo, meaning bright, or fair, as in the Irish Finn and the Welsh Gwyn, and bona, village, settlement. The Celtic word vindos may reflect a widespread prehistorical cult of vindos, a Celtic god. A variant of this Celtic name could be preserved in the Czech, Slovak, and Polish names of the city, Viden, Viden and Wieden, respectively, and in that of the city's district, Wieden. The name of the city in Hungarian, Bech, Serbo-Croatian, Bek, and Ottoman Turkish, Bek, has a different, probably Slavonic origin, and originally referred to an Avar fort in the area. Slovene speakers call the city Dunaj, which in other Central European Slavic languages means the Danube River, on which the city stands. History <inaudible> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Early history. Evidence has been found of continuous habitation in the Vienna area since 500 BC, when Celts settled the site on the Danube River. In 15 BC the Romans fortified the frontier city they called Vindobona to guard the empire against Germanic tribes to the north. Close ties with other Celtic peoples continued through the ages. The Irish monk St. Colman or Coloman, Irish Colman, derived from Colm, Dove, is buried in Melk Abbey and St. Fergal Virgil the Geometer served as Bishop of Salzburg for 40 years. Irish Benedictines founded 12th century monastic settlements. Evidence of these ties persists in the form of Vienna's Great Schottenstift Monastery Scots Abbey, once home to many Irish monks. In 976 Leopold I of Babenberg became Count of the Eastern March, a 60-mile district centering on the Danube on the eastern frontier of Bavaria. This initial district grew into the Duchy of Austria. Each succeeding Babenberg ruler expanded the march east along the Danube, eventually encompassing Vienna and the lands immediately east. In 1145 Duke Henry II Jasemurgit moved the Babenberg family residence from Klosterneuburg in Lower Austria to Vienna. From that time, Vienna remained the center of the Babenberg dynasty. In 1440 Vienna became the resident city of the Habsburg dynasty. It eventually grew to become the de facto capital of the Holy Roman Empire 800 in 1437 and a cultural center for arts and science, music and fine cuisine. Hungary occupied the city between 1485 and 1490. In the 16th and 17th centuries Christian forces stopped Ottoman armies twice outside Vienna see Siege of Vienna, 1529 and Battle of Vienna, 1683. A plague epidemic ravaged Vienna in 1679, killing nearly a third of its population. Austro-Hungarian Empire and the early 20th century In 1804, during the Napoleonic Wars, Vienna became the capital of the Austrian Empire and continued to play a major role in European and world politics, including hosting the Congress of Vienna in 1814-15. After the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867, Vienna remained the capital of what was then the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The city was a center of classical music, for which the title of the first Viennese school is sometimes applied. During the latter half of the 19th century, the city developed what had previously been the Bastions and Glasses into the Ringstrasse, a new boulevard surrounding the historical town and a major prestige project. Former suburbs were incorporated, and the city of Vienna grew dramatically. In 1918, after World War I, Vienna became capital of the Republic of German Austria, and then in 1919 of the First Republic of Austria. From the late 19th century to 1938, the city remained a center of high culture and modernism. A world capital of music, the city played host to composers such as Brahms, Bruckner, Mahler and Richard Strauss. The city's cultural contributions in the first half of the 20th century included, among many, the Vienna Secession Movement, Psychoanalysis, the Second Viennese School, the architecture of Adolf Loos and the philosophy of Ludwig Wittgenstein and the Vienna Circle. In 1913, Adolf Hitler, Leon Trotsky, Joseph Tito, Sigmund Freud and Joseph Stalin all lived within a few miles of each other in central Vienna, some of them being regulars at the same coffeehouses. Within Austria, Vienna was seen as a center of socialist politics, for which it was sometimes referred to as Red Vienna. The city was a stage to the Austrian Civil War of 1934, when Chancellor Engelbert Dollfuss sent the Austrian army to shell civilian housing occupied by the socialist militia. <laughs> Anschluss and World War II In 1938, after a triumphant entry into Austria, Austrian-born Adolf Hitler spoke to the Austrian Germans from the balcony of the Neue Berg, a part of the Hofburg at the Heldenplatz. Viennese Jews were looted, deported and murdered. Between 1938 after the Anschluss and the end of the Second World War, Vienna lost its status as a capital to Berlin as Austria ceased to exist and became a part of Nazi Germany. It was not until 1955 that Austria regained full sovereignty. On 2 April 1945, the Soviets launched the Vienna Offensive against the Germans holding the city and besieged it. 
British and American air raids and artillery duels between the SS and Wehrmacht and the Red Army crippled infrastructure, such as tram services and water and power distribution, and destroyed or damaged thousands of public and private buildings. Vienna fell 11 days later. Austria was separated from Germany, and Vienna was restored as the Republic's capital city, but the Soviet hold on the city remained until 1955. Four Power Vienna After the war, Vienna was part of Soviet occupied Eastern Austria until September 1945. As in Berlin, Vienna in September 1945 was divided into sectors by the four powers the US, the UK, France, and the Soviet Union and supervised by an Allied Commission. The four power occupation of Vienna differed in one key respect from that of Berlin. The central area of the city, known as the First District, constituted an international zone in which the four powers alternated control on a monthly basis. The control was policed by the four powers on a de facto day to day basis, the famous four soldiers in a jeep method. The Berlin blockade of 1948 raised Western concerns that the Soviets might repeat the blockade in Vienna. The matter was raised in the UK House of Commons by MP Anthony Nutting, who asked, What plans have the government for dealing with a similar situation in Vienna? Vienna is in exactly a similar position to Berlin. There was a lack of airfields in the western sectors, and authorities drafted contingency plans to deal with such a blockade. Plans included the laying down of metal landing mats at Schönbrunn. The Soviets did not blockade the city. The Potsdam Agreement included written rights of land access to the western sectors, whereas no such written guarantees had covered the western sectors of Berlin. Also, there was no precipitating event to cause a blockade in Vienna. In Berlin, the western powers had introduced a new currency in early 1948 to economically freeze out the Soviets. During the ten years of the four power occupation, Vienna became a hotbed for international espionage between the western and eastern blocs. In the wake of the Berlin blockade, the Cold War in Vienna took on a different dynamic. While accepting that Germany and Berlin would be divided, the Soviets had decided against allowing the same state of affairs to arise in Austria and Vienna. Here, the Soviet forces controlled districts 2, 4, 10, 20, 21 and 22 and all areas incorporated into Vienna in 1938. They put up barbed wire fences around the perimeter of West Berlin in 1953, but not in Vienna. By 1955, the Soviets, by signing the Austrian State Treaty, agreed to relinquish their occupation zones in eastern Austria as well as their sector in Vienna. In exchange they required that Austria declare its permanent neutrality after the Allied powers had left the country. Thus they ensured that Austria would not be a member of NATO and that NATO forces would therefore not have direct communications between Italy and West Germany. The atmosphere of four-power Vienna is the background for Graham Greene's screenplay for the film The Third Man 1949. Later he adapted the screenplay as a novel and published it. Occupied Vienna is also depicted in the Philip Kerr novel, A German Requiem. <laughs> Austrian state treaty and afterwards The four-power control of Vienna lasted until the Austrian State Treaty was signed in May 1955. That year, after years of reconstruction and restoration, the State Opera and the Burgtheater, both on the Ringstrasse, reopened to the public. The Soviet Union signed the State Treaty only after having been provided with the political guarantee by the federal government to declare Austria's neutrality after the withdrawal of the Allied troops. This law of neutrality, passed in late October 1955 and not the state treaty itself, ensured that modern Austria would align with neither NATO nor the Soviet bloc, and is considered one of the reasons for Austria's late entry into the European Union. In the 1970s, Austrian Chancellor Bruno Kreisky inaugurated the Vienna International Center, a new area of the city created to host international institutions. Vienna has regained much of its former international stature by hosting international organizations, such as the United Nations United Nations Industrial Development Organization, United Nations Office at Vienna and United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the Preparatory Commission for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, the International Atomic Energy Agency, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe.
Topic: Demographics. Because of the industrialization and migration from other parts of the empire, the population of Vienna increased sharply during its time as the capital of Austria-Hungary In 1910, Vienna had more than two million inhabitants, and was the fourth largest city in Europe after London, Paris and Berlin. Around the start of the 20th century, Vienna was the city with the second largest Czech population in the world after Prague. After World War I, many Czechs and Hungarians returned to their ancestral countries, resulting in a decline in the Viennese population. After World War II, the Soviets used force to repatriate key workers of Czech, Slovak and Hungarian origins to return to their ethnic homelands to further the Soviet bloc economy. Under the Nazi regime, 65,000 Jewish people were deported and murdered in concentration camps by Nazi forces, approximately 130,000 fled. By 2001, 16% of people living in Austria had nationalities other than Austrian, nearly half of whom were from former Yugoslavia. The next most numerous nationalities in Vienna were Turks, 39,000, 2.5%, Poles, 13,600, 0.9%, and Germans, 12,700, 0. 0.8%. As of 2012, an official report from Statistics Austria showed that more than 660,000 of the Viennese population have full or partial migrant background, mostly from ex Yugoslavia, Turkey, Germany, Poland, Romania, and Hungary. From 2005 to 2015, the city's population grew by 10.1%. According to UN Habitat, Vienna could be the fastest growing city out of 17 European metropolitan areas until 2025 with an increase of 4.65% of its population, compared to 2010. Religion According to the 2001 census, 49.2% of Viennese were Roman Catholics, while 25.7% were of no religion, 7.8% were Muslim, 6.0% were members of an Orthodox denomination, 4.7% were Protestant, mostly Lutheran, 0.5% were Jewish, and 6.3% were either of other religions or did not reply. By 2011, the shares of religious bodies had significantly changed. 41.3% Catholics 31.6% No Religion 11.6% Muslim 8.4% Orthodox 4.2% Protestant 2.9% Others Vienna is the seat of the Metropolitan Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Vienna, in which is also vested the exempt ordinariate for Byzantine Rite Catholics in Austria. Its current Archbishop is Cardinal Christoph Schonborn. Many Roman Catholic churches in central Vienna feature performances of religious or other music, including masses sung to classical music and organ. Some of Vienna's most significant historical buildings are Roman Catholic churches, including the St. Stephen's Cathedral Stephensdom, Karlskirch, Peterskirch and the Votivkirch. On the banks of the Danube, there is a Buddhist peace pagoda, built in 1983 by the monks and nuns of Nippons and Myohoji. Topic. Geography and climate Vienna is located in northeastern Austria, at the easternmost extension of the Alps in the Vienna Basin. The earliest settlement, at the location of today's inner city, was south of the meandering Danube while the city now spans both sides of the river. Elevation ranges from 151 to 542 metres 495 to 1,778 feet. The city has a total area of 414.65 square kilometers, 160.1 square miles, making it the largest city in Austria by area. Vienna has an oceanic climate bordering a humid subtropical climate, hovering just below 22 degrees Celsius in July and August, and features, according to the Köppen classification, a CFB oceanic climate. The city has relatively warm summers, however with periodical precipitations that can reach its most in June and July and average high temperatures of 21 to 27 degrees Celsius 70 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, with a record maximum exceeding 38 degrees Celsius 100 degrees Fahrenheit and a record low of around 7 degrees Celsius 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are relatively dry and very cold with average temperatures at about freezing point. 
Spring is variable and autumn usually cold, with possible snowfalls already in November. Precipitation is generally moderate throughout the year, averaging 550 mm (21.7 in) annually, with considerable local variations. The Vienna Woods region in the west being the wettest part, 700 to 800 mm (28 to 31 in) annually, and the flat plains in the east being the driest part, 500 to 550 mm (20 to 22 in) annually. Snow in the winter is common, even if rare compared to western and southern regions in Austria. Districts and enlargement Vienna is composed of 23 districts Berserk. Administrative district offices in Vienna called serve functions similar to those in the other Austrian states called Bezirkshauptmannschaften, the officers being subject to the mayor of Vienna, with the notable exception of the police, which is under federal supervision. District residents in Vienna Austrians as well as EU citizens with permanent residence here elect a district assembly City Hall has delegated maintenance budgets, e.g., for schools and parks, so that the districts are able to set priorities autonomously. Any decision of a district can be overridden by the city assembly or the responsible city councillor the heart and historical city of Vienna, a large part of today's inner Stadt, was a fortress surrounded by fields in order to defend itself from potential attackers. In 1850, Vienna with the consent of the emperor annexed 34 surrounding villages, called Vorstad, into the city limits districts number 2 to 8, after 1861 with the separation of Margraten from Wieden number 2 to 9. Consequently, the walls were raised after 1857, making it possible for the city centre to expand. In their place, a broad boulevard called the Ringstrasse was built, along which imposing public and private buildings, monuments, and parks were created by the start of the 20th century. These buildings include the Rathaus Town Hall, the Burgtheater, the University, the Parliament, the Twin Museums of Natural History and Fine Art, and the Staatsoper. It is also the location of New Wing of the Hofburg, the former Imperial Palace, and the Imperial and Royal War Ministry finished in 1913. The mainly Gothic Stephansdom is located at the center of the city, on Stephansplatz. The Imperial Royal Government set up the Vienna City Renovation Fund and sold many building lots to private investors, thereby partly financing public construction works. From 1850 to 1890, city limits in the west and the south mainly followed another wall called Linienwall at which a road toll called the Linengeld was charged. Outside this wall from 1873 onwards a ring road called Girdle was built. In 1890 it was decided to integrate 33 suburbs called Vororte beyond that wall into Vienna by 1 January 1892 and transform them into districts No. 11-19 District No. 10 had been constituted in 1874, hence the Linian Wall was torn down beginning in 1894. In 1900, District No. 20, Brigettenau, was created by separating the area from the second district. From 1850 to 1904, Vienna had expanded only on the right bank of the Danube, following the main branch before the regulation of 1868-1875, i.e., the old Danube of today. In 1904, the 21st district was created by integrating Floridsdorf, Kagren, Stadlau, Hirschstetten, Aspern, and other villages on the left bank of the Danube into Vienna. In 1910, Strebersdorf followed. On the 15th of October 1938, the Nazis created Great Vienna with 26 districts by merging 97 towns and villages into Vienna, 80 of which were returned to surrounding Lower Austria in 1954. Since then, Vienna has 23 districts. Industries are located mostly in the southern and eastern districts. The inner Stadt is situated away from the main flow of the Danube, but is bounded by the Donaukanal Danube Canal. Vienna's 2nd and 20th districts are located between the Donaukanal and the Danube River. Across the Danube, where the Vienna International Center is located districts 21-22, and in the southern areas district 23 are the newest parts of the city. Politics Political history 
In the 20 years before the First World War and until 1918, Viennese politics were shaped by the Christian Social Party. In particular, long-term mayor Karl Luger was able to not apply the general voting rights for men introduced by and for the Parliament of Imperial Austria, the Reichsrat, in 1907, thereby excluding most of the working class from taking part in decisions. For Adolf Hitler, who spent some years in Vienna, Luger was a teacher of how to use antisemitism in politics. Vienna is today considered the center of the Social Democratic Party during the period of the First Republic 1918 the Vienna Social Democrats undertook many social reforms. At that time, Vienna's municipal policy was admired by socialists throughout Europe, who therefore referred to the city as Red Vienna, wrote Wien. In February 1934 troops of the Austrian federal government under Engelbert Dollfuss, who had closed down the first chamber of the federal parliament, the Nationalrat, in 1933, and paramilitary socialist organizations were engaged in the Austrian Civil War, which led to the ban of the Social Democratic Party. The SPO has held the mayor's office and an absolute majority in the city council, parliament at every free election since 1919. The only break in this SPO dominance came between 1934 and 1945, when the Social Democratic Party was illegal, mayors were appointed by the Austro-Fascist and later by the Nazi authorities. The current mayor of Vienna is Michael Ludwig of the SPO. The city has enacted many social democratic policies. The Gemeindebauten are social housing assets that are well integrated into the city architecture outside the first or inner district. The low rents enable comfortable accommodation and good access to the city amenities. Many of the projects were built after the Second World War on vacant lots that were destroyed by bombing during the war. The city took particular pride in building them to a high standard. Government Since Vienna obtained federal state Bundesland status of its own by the Federal Constitution of 1920, the City Council is also the State Parliament Landtag, and the Mayor except 1934-1945 also holds the function of the State Governor Landehauptmann. The Rathaus accommodates the offices of the Mayor Magistrat der Stadt Wien and the State Government Landesregierung. The city is administered by a multitude of departments Magistratsabteilungen, politically supervised by Amtsverenstatrate members of the city government leading offices. According to the Vienna Constitution opposition parties have the right to designate members of the city government not leading offices. In the 1996 city council election, the SPO lost its overall majority in the 100-seat chamber, winning 43 seats and 39.15% of the vote. In 1996 the Freedom Party of Austria FPO, which won 29 seats up from 21 in 1991, beat the OVP into third place for the second time running. From 1996 to 2001, the SPO governed Vienna in a coalition with the OVP. In 2001 the SPO regained the overall majority with 52 seats and 46.91% of the vote. In October 2005 this majority was increased further to 55 seats, 49.09%. In course of the 2010 city council elections the SPO lost their overall majority again and consequently forged a coalition with the Green Party, the first SPO, Green coalition in Austria. This coalition was maintained following the 2015 election. Economy <inaudible> 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 Vienna is one of the wealthiest regions in the European Union, its gross regional product of €47,200 per capita constituted 25.7% of Austria's GDP in 2013. It amounts to 159% of the EU average. The city improved its position from 2012 on the ranking of the most economically powerful cities reaching number 9 on the listing in 2015, with a share of 85.5% in gross value added. The service sector is Vienna's most important economic sector. Industry and commerce have a share of 14.5% in gross value added. The primary sector agriculture has a share of 0.07% and therefore plays a minor role in the local added value. However, the cultivation and production of wines within the city borders have a high socio-cultural value. 
The most important business sectors are trade, 14.7% of added value in Vienna, scientific and technological services, real estate and housing activities as well as manufacturing of goods. In 2012, Vienna's contribution in Austria's outgoing and incoming foreign direct investments was of about 60%, which demonstrates Vienna's role as an international hub for domestic and foreign companies. Since the fall of the Iron Curtain in 1989, Vienna has expanded its position as gateway to Eastern Europe. 300 international companies have their Eastern European headquarters in Vienna and its environs. Among them are Hewlett Packard, Henkel, Baxalta, and Siemens. Companies in Vienna have extensive contacts and competences in business with Eastern Europe due to the city's historical role as center of the Habsburg Empire. The number of international businesses in Vienna is still growing. In 2014-159 and in 2015-175, international firms established offices in Vienna. Altogether, approximately 8,300 new companies have been founded in Vienna every year since 2004. The majority of these companies are operating in fields of industry-oriented services, wholesale trade as well as information and communications technologies and new media. Vienna makes effort to establish itself as a startup hub. Since 2012, the city hosts the annual Pioneers Festival, the largest startup event in Central Europe with 2,500 international participants taking place at Hofburg Palace. Tech Cocktail, an online portal for the startup scene, has ranked Vienna sixth among the top ten startup cities worldwide. Topic research and development The city of Vienna attaches major importance to science and research and focuses on creating a positive environment for research and development. In 2014, Vienna has accommodated 1,329 research facilities, 40,400 persons are employed in the R&D sector and 35% of Austria's R&D expenses are invested in the city. With a research quota of 3.4% Vienna exceeds the Austrian average of 2.77% and has already met the EU target of 3.0% by 2020. A major R&D sector in Vienna are life sciences with 378 biotech, pharma and medtech companies such as Johnson & Johnson, Siemens, Roche, Philips and Boehringer Ingelheim, with more than 21,000 employees. There are 25 public and private research institutions, among them the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences BOKU, the Austrian Institute of Technology and the Vienna Biocenter. Topic information technologies The Viennese sector for information and communication technologies is comparable in size with the sector in Helsinki, Milan or Munich and thus among Europe's largest IT locations. In 2012 8,962 IT businesses with a workforce of 64,223 were located in the Vienna region. The main products are instruments and appliances for measuring, testing and navigation as well as electronic components. More than two-thirds of the enterprises provide IT services. Among the biggest IT firms in Vienna are CAPTCHA, Beko Engineering and Informatics, Air Traffic Control Experts Frequentis, Cisco Systems Austria, Hewlett Packard, Microsoft Austria, IBM Austria and Samsung Electronics Austria. The US technology corporation Cisco runs its Entrepreneurs in Residence program for Europe in Vienna in cooperation with the Vienna Business Agency. The British company UBM has rated Vienna one of the top 10 internet cities worldwide by analyzing criteria like connections speed, Wi-Fi availability, innovation spirit and open government data. In 2011 74.3% of Viennese households were connected with broadband, 79% were in possession of a computer. According to the broadband strategy of the city, full broadband coverage will be reached by 2020. Topic tourism and conferences There were 14.96 million overnight stays in Vienna in 2016 plus 4.4% 4 .4 compared to 2015. In 2014, 6.2 million tourists visited Vienna and amounted to 13,524,266 overnight stays. The main markets for tourists are Germany, the United States, Italy and Russia. Between 2005 and 2013, Vienna was the world's number one destination for international congresses and conventions. In 2014, 202 international conferences were held in Vienna, making it the second most popular congress location worldwide according to the statistics of the International Congress and Convention Association. 
Its largest conference center, the Austria Center Vienna ACV, has a total capacity for around 20,000 people and is situated next to the United Nations headquarters in Vienna. Other centers are the Messe Wien Exhibition and Congress Center, up to 3,300 people, and the Hofburg Palace, up to 4,900 people. Topic: Rankings. Regarding quality of living, Vienna leads the 2016 Quality of Living Ranking by the International Mercer Consulting Group for the seventh consecutive year. In the 2015 Livability Report by the Economist Intellisense Unit as well as in the Quality of Life Survey 2015 of London-based Monocle magazine Vienna was equally ranked second most livable city worldwide. The United Nations Human Settlements Programme UN Habitat has ranked Vienna the most prosperous city in the world in its flagship report State of the World Cities 2012-2013. According to the 2014 City RepTrack ranking by the Reputation Institute, Vienna has the best reputation in comparison comparison with 100 major global cities the innovation cities global index 2014 by the australian innovation agency 2 think now ranks vienna 6th behind san francisco san jose new york city london boston and paris us climate strategist boyd cohen placed vienna first in his first global smart cities ranking of 2012 in the 2014 ranking, Vienna reached third place among European cities behind Copenhagen and Amsterdam. The Mori Memorial Institute for Urban Strategies ranked Vienna in the top 10 of their Global Power City Index 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Urban Development. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Central Railway Station. Vienna's new Central Railway Station was opened in October 2014. Construction began in June 2007 and was due to last until December 2015. The station is served by 1,100 trains with 145,000 passengers. There is a shopping center with approximately 90 shops and restaurants. In the vicinity of the station a new district is emerging with 550,000 square meters 5,920,000 square feet office space and 5,000 apartments until 2020. Topic: <laughs> Aspern Siestad Aspern is one of the largest urban expansion projects of Europe. A 5-hectare artificial lake, offices, apartments and a tube station within walking distance are supposed to attract 20,000 new citizens when construction is completed in 2028. In addition, the highest wooden skyscraper of the world called Ho Ho Wien will be built within three years, starting in 2015. <laughs> Smart City In 2014, the Vienna City Council adopted the Smart City Wien Framework Strategy 2050. It is a long-term umbrella strategy that is supposed to establish a conducive, long-term and structural framework in order to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from 3.1 tons per capita to 1 ton per capita by 2050, have 50% of Vienna's gross energy consumption originate from renewable sources and to reduce motorized individual traffic from the current 28% to 15% by 2030. A stated goal is that, by 2050, all vehicles within the municipal boundaries will run without conventional propulsion technologies. Additionally, Vienna aims to be one of the five biggest European research and innovation hubs in 2050. Culture Music, theater and opera Musical luminaries including Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Joseph Haydn, Ludwig van Beethoven, Ferdinand Reis, Franz Schubert, Johannes Brahms, Gustav Mahler, Robert Stolz, and Arnold Schoenberg have worked there. Art and culture had a long tradition in Vienna, including theater, opera, classical music and fine arts. The Berg Theater is considered one of the best theaters in the German-speaking world alongside its branch, the Akademie Theater. The Volkstheater Wien and the theater in Der Josefstadt also enjoy good reputations. 
There is also a multitude of smaller theaters, in many cases devoted to less mainstream forms of the performing arts, such as modern, experimental plays or cabaret. Vienna is also home to a number of opera houses, including the Theater and Der Wien, the Staatsoper and the Volksoper, the latter being devoted to the typical Viennese operetta. Classical concerts are performed at world-famous venues such as the Wiener Musikverein, home of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra known across the world for the annual widely broadcast New Year's Day concert, as well as the Wiener Konzerthaus, home of the internationally renowned Vienna Symphony. Many concert venues offer concerts aimed at tourists, featuring popular highlights of Viennese music, particularly the works of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Johann Strauss I, and Johann Strauss II. Up until 2005, the Theater and Der Wien has hosted premieres of musicals, although with the year of the Mozart celebrations 2006 it has devoted itself to the opera again and has since become a stagione opera house offering one new production each month, thus quickly becoming one of Europe's most interesting and advanced opera houses. Since 2012 Theater and Der Wien has taken over the Wiener Kammeroper, a historical small theater in the first district of Vienna seating 300 spectators, turning it into its second venue for smaller sized productions and chamber operas created by the young ensemble of Theater and Der Wien Jet. Before 2005 the most successful musical was Elizabeth, which was later translated into several languages and performed all over the world. The Wiener Taschenoper is dedicated to stage music of the 20th and 21st century. The Haus der Musik, House of Music, opened in the year 2000. The Wienerlied is a unique song genre from Vienna. There are approximately 60,000 to 70,000 Wienerlieder. In 1981, the popular British new romantic group Ultravox paid a tribute to Vienna on an album and an artful music video recording called Vienna. The inspiration for this work arose from the cinema production called The Third Man with the title Zither Music of Anton Karas. The Vienna's English Theatre is an English theatre in Vienna. It was founded in 1963 and is located in the 8th Vienna's district. It is the oldest English-language theatre in Europe outside the UK. In May 2015, Vienna hosted the Eurovision Song Contest following Austria's victory in the 2014 contest. Actors from Vienna Notable entertainers born in Vienna include Baroness Bianca von Krieg, Christoph Waltz. Musicians from Vienna Notable musicians born in Vienna include Louis Austin, Alban Berg, Falco, Fritz Kreisler, Joseph Lanner, Arnold Schoenberg, Franz Schubert, Johann Strauss I, Johann Strauss II, Anton Webern, and Joe Zawinul. Famous musicians who came here to work from other parts of Austria and Germany were Johann Joseph Fuchs, Joseph Haydn, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven, Ferdinand Reis, Johann Sedlatzik, Antonio Salieri, Karl Czerny, Johann Nepomuk Hummel, Franz Liszt, Franz von Supa, Anton Bruckner, Johannes Brahms, Gustav Mahler and Reinhard Fendrick. Famous Jewish cultural figures from Vienna Among the most notable Viennese Jews, some of whom left Austria before and during Nazi persecution, are the following figures, Sigmund Freud, Alfred Adler who eventually converted to Christianity, Rudolf Dreikers, Viktor Frankl, Fritz Lang, Fred Zinnemann both of whose parents died in the Holocaust, Stefan Zweig, Simon Wiesenthal, Theodor Herzl, Judah Alkali, Eric von Stroheim, Hedy Lamarr, Billy Wilder, Franz Werfel, Arnold Schoenberg and Fritz Kreisler. Museums The Hofburg is the location of the Imperial Treasury holding the imperial jewels of the Habsburg dynasty. The Sisi Museum, a museum devoted to Empress Elizabeth of Austria allows visitors to view the imperial apartments as well as the silver cabinet. Directly opposite the Hofburg are the Kunsthistorisches Museum, which houses many paintings by old masters, ancient and classical artifacts, and the Naturhistorisches Museum. A number of museums are located in the Museums Quartier museum quarter, the former imperial stalls which were converted into a museum complex in the 1990s. 
It houses the Museum of Modern Art, commonly known as the MUMOK Ludwig Foundation, the Leopold Museum featuring the largest collection of paintings in the world by Egan Schiele, as well as works by the Vienna Secession, Viennese Modernism and Austrian Expressionism, the AZW Museum of Architecture, additional halls with feature exhibitions, and the Tanzquartier. The Liechtenstein Palace contains much of one of the world's largest private art collections, especially strong in the Baroque. Castle Belvedere, built under Prince Eugene, has a gallery containing paintings by Gustav Klimt the Kiss, Egan Schiele, and other painters of the early 20th century, also sculptures by Franz Xaver Messerschmitt, and changing exhibitions too. There are a multitude of other museums in Vienna, including the Albertina, the Military History Museum, the Technical Museum, the Burial Museum, the Museum of Art Fakes, the Kunsthauswen, Museum of Applied Arts, the Sigmund Freud Museum, and the Mozartheus Vienna. The museums on the history of the city, including the former Historical Museum of the City of Vienna on Karlsplatz, the Herms Villa, the residences and birthplaces of various composers, the Museum of the Romans, and the Vienna Clock Museum, are now gathered together under the group umbrella Vienna Museum. In addition there are museums dedicated to Vienna's individual districts. They provide a record of individual struggles, achievements and tragedy as the city grew and survived two world wars. For readers seeking family histories these are good sources of information. Architecture A variety of architectural styles can be found in Vienna, such as the Romanesque Ruprechtskirch and the Baroque Karlskirch. Styles range from classicist buildings to modern architecture. Art Nouveau left many architectural traces in Vienna. The Secession Building, Karlsplatz Stadtbahn Station, and the Kirch am Steinhof by Otto Wagner rank among the best known examples of Art Nouveau in the world. Wagner's prominent student Joža Plechnik from Slovenia also left important traces in Vienna. His works include the Langer House and the Zakril House Plechnik's 1910-1913 Church of the Holy Spirit in Vienna is remarkable for its innovative use of poured-in-place concrete as both structure and exterior surface, and also for its abstracted classical form language. Most radical is the church's crypt, with its slender concrete columns and angular, cubist capitals and bases. Concurrent to the Art Nouveau movement was the Wiener Moderna, during which some architects shunned the use of extraneous adornment. A key architect of this period was Adolf Loos, whose works include the Loos House 1909, the Kartner Bar or American Bar 1908, and the Steiner House 1910. The Hundertwasserhaus by Friedensreich Undertwasser, designed to counter the clinical look of modern architecture, is one of Vienna's most popular tourist attractions. Another example of unique architecture is the Wittrubachkirch by sculptor Fritz Wittruba. In the 1990s, a number of quarters were adapted and extensive building projects were implemented in the areas around Donaustadt north of the Danube and Wienerberg in southern Vienna. The 220-meter-high DC Tower 1 located on the northern bank of the Danube, completed in 2013, is the tallest skyscraper in Vienna. In recent years, Vienna has seen numerous architecture projects completed which combine modern architectural elements with old buildings, such as the remodeling and revitalization of the old gasometer in 2001. Most buildings in Vienna are relatively low. In early 2006 there were around 100 buildings higher than 40 meters 130 feet. The number of high-rise buildings is kept low by building legislation aimed at preserving green areas and districts designated as world cultural heritage. Strong rules apply to the planning, authorization and construction of high-rise buildings. Consequently, much of the inner city is a high-rise free zone. <inaudible> Vienna Balls Vienna is the last great capital of the 19th century ball. There are over 450 balls per year, some featuring as many as nine live orchestras. Balls are held in the many beautiful palaces in Vienna, with the principal venue being the Hofburg Palace in Heldenplatz. While the Opera Ball is the best known internationally of all the Austrian balls, other balls such as the Kaffeesieder Ball, Café Owners Ball, the Jäger Ball, Hunters Ball, and the Life Ball, AIDS Charity Event, are almost as well known within Austria and even better appreciated for their cordial atmosphere. 
Viennese of at least middle class may visit a number of balls in their lifetime. Dancers and opera singers from the Vienna State Opera often perform at the openings of the larger balls. A Vienna ball is an all night cultural attraction. Major Viennese balls generally begin at 9 p.m. and last until 5 a.m., although many guests carry on the celebrations into the next day. The Viennese balls are being exported with the support of the city of Vienna in around 30 cities worldwide such as New York, Barcelona, Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, Rome, Prague, Bucharest, Berlin and Moscow. Education <inaudible> 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 Vienna is Austria's main center of education and home to many universities, professional colleges and gymnasiums high schools. <laughs> <laughs> Universities Academy of Fine Arts Vienna Diplomatic Academy of Vienna Medical University of Vienna PEF Private University of Management Vienna University of Applied Arts Vienna University of Music and Performing Arts, Vienna University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna University of Vienna Vienna University of Economics and Business University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, Vienna University of Applied Sciences Technicum Wien 2 Wien Webster University Vienna Sigmund Freud University Vienna International Anti-Corruption Academy in Luxembourg 24 kilometers 15 miles south of Vienna Topic <laughs> <laughs> International Schools Danube International School International University Vienna Say Vienna Lauder Business School Lycée Français de Vienne Vienna Christian School Vienna International School American International School Japanish School in Wien Japanese School Amadeus International School Topic Leisure Activities Topic Parks and gardens Vienna possesses many parks, including the Stadtpark, the Burgarten, the Volksgarten, part of the Hofburg, the Schlosspark at Schloss Belvedere, home to the Vienna Botanic Gardens, the Donaupark, the Schönbrunner Schlosspark, the Prater, the Augarten, the Rothauspark, the Lanzer Tiergarten, the Denpark, the Resselpark, the Vodivipark, the Kurpark Oberlaa, the Auer Wellsbach Park, and the Turkenschanzi Park. Green areas include Laaer Berg including the Bohemian Prater and the foothills of the Wienerwald, which reaches into the outer areas of the city. Small parks, known by the Viennese as Becerralparks, are everywhere in the inner city areas. Many of Vienna's famous parks include monuments, such as the Stadtpark with its statue of Johann Strauss II, and the gardens of the Baroque Palace, where the state treaty was signed. Vienna's principal park is the Prater which is home to the Riesenrad, a Ferris wheel, and Kugelmugel, a micronation the shape of a sphere. The Imperial Schönbrunn's grounds contain an 18th-century park which includes the world's oldest zoo, founded in 1752. The Donauinsel, part of Vienna's flood defences, is a 21.1 km .1 miles long artificial island between the Danube and Neue Dano dedicated to leisure activities. Topic. Sport Austria's capital is home to numerous football teams. The best known are the local football clubs include FK Austria Wien 21 Austrian Bundesliga titles and record 27 Time Cup winners, SK Rapid Wien record 32 Austrian Bundesliga titles, and the oldest team, 1st Vienna FC. Other important sports clubs include the Raiffeisen Vikings Vienna American football, who won the Eurobowl title between 2004 and 2007 four times in a row and had a perfect season in 2013, the Aeon Hotvolleys Vienna, one of Europe's premier volleyball organizations, the Vienna Wanderers baseball, who won the 2012 and 2013 championship of the Austrian Baseball League, and the Vienna Capitals ice hockey. Vienna was also where the European Handball Federation EHF was founded. 
There are also three rugby clubs, Vienna Celtic, the oldest rugby club in Austria, RC Dano, and Stade Viennois. Vienna hosts many different sporting events including the Vienna City Marathon, which attracts more than 10,000 participants every year and normally takes place in May. In 2005 the Ice Hockey World Championships took place in Austria and the final was played in Vienna. Vienna's Ernst Happel Stadium was the venue of four Champions League and European Champion Clubs Cup finals 1964, 1987, 1990 and 1995 and on 29 June it hosted the final of Euro 2008 which saw a Spanish 1–0 victory over Germany. Tennis tournament Vienna Open also takes place in the city since 1974. The matches are played in the Wiener Stadthale. The Neu Dano, which was formed after the Donauinsel was created is free of river traffic and has been referred to as an Autobahn for swimmers, due to its use by the public for commuting. <laughs> Culinary specialities <laughs> Food Vienna is well known for Wiener Schnitzel, a cutlet of veal or pork that is pounded flat, coated in flour, egg and breadcrumbs, and fried in clarified butter. It is available in almost every restaurant that serves Viennese cuisine and can be eaten hot or cold. The traditional Wiener Schnitzel, though is a cutlet of veal. Other examples of Viennese cuisine include Tafelspitz very lean boiled beef, which is traditionally served with Gerastate Erdipfel boiled potatoes mashed with a fork and subsequently fried and horseradish sauce, Apfelkuren a mixture of horseradish, cream and apple and Schnittelock sauce a chives sauce made with mayonnaise and stale bread. Vienna has a long tradition of producing cakes and desserts. These include apfelstrudel, hot apple strudel, milkramstrudel, milk cream strudel, palatschinken, sweet pancakes, and nodel, dumplings, often filled with fruit such as apricots, marillanodel. Sacrotorte, a delicately moist chocolate cake with apricot jam created by the Soccer Hotel, is world famous. In winter, small street stands sell traditional maroni, hot chestnuts, and potato fritters. Sausages are popular and available from street vendors were still stand throughout the day and into the night. The sausage known as Wiener German for Viennese in the U.S. and in Germany, is called a Frankfurter in Vienna. Other popular sausages are Burnwurst a coarse beef and pork sausage, generally boiled, Kassekrainer spicy pork with small chunks of cheese, and Bratwurst a white pork sausage. Most can be ordered, MIT brat, with bread or as a hot dog. Stuffed inside a long roll. Mustard is the traditional condiment and usually offered in two varieties. Sioux. Sweet or. Scharf. Spicy. Kebab, pizza and noodles are, increasingly, the snack foods most widely available from small stands. The Nassmarkt is a permanent market for fruit, vegetables, spices, fish, meat, etc., from around the world. The city has many coffee and breakfast stores. Topic. Drinks Vienna, along with Paris, Santiago, Cape Town, Prague, Canberra, Bratislava and Warsaw, is one of the few remaining world capital cities with its own vineyards. The wine is served in small Viennese pubs known as Hurriger, which are especially numerous in the wine-growing areas of Dobeling, Grinzing, Neustift am Wald, Neudorf, Sammensdorf, Sivering, Floridsdorf, Stammersdorf, Strebersdorf, Leising, Mauer, and Favoriten, Oberla. The wine is often drunk as a spritzer, Gespritzeter, with sparkling water. The Gruner Veltliner, a dry white wine, is the most widely cultivated wine in Austria. Beer is next in importance to wine. Vienna has a single large brewery, Ottakringer, and more than 10 microbreweries. A. B. E. I. S. L. is a typical small Austrian pub, of which Vienna has many. Also, local soft drinks such as Almdudler are very popular around the country as an alternative to alcoholic beverages, placing it on the top spots along American counterparts such as Coca-Cola in terms of market share. Another popular drink is the so-called Spezi. A mix between Coca-Cola and the original formula of Orange Fanta or the more locally renowned Frucade. <inaudible> Viennese cafés 
Viennese cafes have an extremely long and distinguished history that dates back centuries, and the caffeine addictions of some famous historical patrons of the oldest are something of a local legend. These coffee houses are unique to Vienna and many cities have unsuccessfully sought to copy them. Some people consider cafes as their extended living room where nobody will be bothered if they spend hours reading a newspaper while enjoying their coffee. Traditionally, the coffee comes with a glass of water. Viennese cafes claim to have invented the process of filtering coffee from booty captured after the Second Turkish Siege in 1683. Viennese cafes claim that when the invading Turks left Vienna, they abandoned hundreds of sacks of coffee beans. The Polish King John III Sobieski, the commander of the anti-Turkish coalition of Poles, Germans, and Austrians, gave Franz George Kolschitski Polish, Franciszek Jerzy Kolczyki some of this coffee as a reward for providing information that allowed him to defeat the Turks. Kolschitski then opened Vienna's first coffee shop. Julius Meinl set up a modern roasting plant in the same premises where the coffee sacks were found, in 1891. Tourist attractions Major tourist attractions include the Imperial Palaces of the Hofburg and Schönbrunn also home to the world's oldest zoo, Tiergarten Schönbrunn and the Riesenrad in the Prater. Cultural highlights include the Berg Theater, the Wiener Staatsoper, the Lipizzaner Horses at the Spanish Hofrichule, and the Vienna Boys Choir, as well as excursions to Vienna's Hurrigen district Dobeling. There are also more than 100 art museums, which together attract over 8 million visitors per year. The most popular ones are Albertina, Belvedere, Leopold Museum in the Museums Cordier, Kunsthauswen, Bank Austria Kunstforum, the Twin Kunsthistorisches Museum and Naturhistorisches Museum, and the Technisches Museum Wien, each of which receives over a quarter of a million visitors per year. There are many popular sites associated with composers who lived in Vienna, including Beethoven's various residences and grave at Zentralfriedha, Central Cemetery, which is the largest cemetery in Vienna and the burial site of many famous people. Mozart has a memorial grave at the Habsburg Gardens and at St. Mark's Cemetery where his grave was lost. Vienna's many churches also draw large crowds, famous of which are St. Stephen's Cathedral, the Deutschordenskirche, the Jesuitenkirche, the Karlskirche, the Peterskirche, Maria M. Gestade, the Minoritenkirche, the Ruprechtskirche, the Schottenkirche, St. Ulrich and the Votivkirche. Modern attractions include the Hundertwasserhaus, the United Nations headquarters and the view from the Donauturm. Transportation Vienna has an extensive transportation network with a unified fare system that integrates municipal, regional and railway systems under the umbrella of the Verkehrsverbund Ostregion Public transport is provided by buses, trams and five underground metro lines most operated by the Wiener Linien. There are also more than 50 S train stations within the city limits. Suburban trains are operated by the OB. The city forms the hub of the Austrian railway system, with services to all parts of the country and abroad. The railway system connects Vienna with other European cities, like Munich, Venice, Budapest, Prague, Bratislava and Zurich. Vienna has multiple road connections including motorways. Vienna is served by Vienna International Airport, located 18 km 11 miles southeast of the city centre next to the town of Schwechat. The airport handled approximately 22 million passengers in 2014. Following lengthy negotiations with surrounding communities, the airport will be expanded to increase its capacity by adding a third runway. The airport is currently undergoing a major expansion, including a new terminal building opened in 2012 to prepare for an expected increase in passengers. Topic: <laughs> International Relations. Topic. International organizations in Vienna 
Vienna is the seat of a number of United Nations offices and various international institutions and companies, including the International Atomic Energy Agency (IAEA), the United Nations Industrial Development Organization (UNODO), the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime (UNODC), the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries (OPEC), the OPEC Fund for International Development (OFID), the Preparatory Commission for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization (CTBT). O, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE, the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs UNOOSA, and the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights FRA. Currently Vienna is the world's third UN city, next to New York, Geneva, and Nairobi. Additionally, Vienna is the seat of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Laws Secretariat UNCITRAL. In conjunction, the University of Vienna annually hosts the prestigious Willem C. Vis Moot, an international commercial arbitration competition for students of law from around the world. Various special diplomatic meetings have been held in Vienna in the latter half of the 20th century, resulting in various documents bearing the name Vienna Convention or Vienna Document. Among the more important documents negotiated in Vienna are the 1969 Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties, as well as the 1990 Treaty on Conventional Armed Forces in Europe. Vienna also hosted the negotiations leading to the 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action on Iran's nuclear program as well as the Vienna Peace Talks for Syria. Vienna also headquartered the International Taekwondo Federation ITF. Charitable organizations in Vienna Alongside international and intergovernmental organizations, there are dozens of charitable organizations based in Vienna. One such organization is the Network of SOS Children's Villages, founded by Hermann Minor in 1949. Today, SOS Children's Villages are active in 132 countries and territories worldwide. Others include Hasco. Another extremely popular international event is the annual Life Ball, which supports people with HIV or AIDS. Guests such as Bill Clinton and Whoopi Goldberg were recent attendees. <laughs> <laughs> international city cooperations The general policy of the city of Vienna is not to sign any twin or sister city agreements with other cities. Instead Vienna has only cooperation agreements in which specific cooperation areas are defined. District-to-district <inaudible> 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 district partnerships In addition, individual Viennese districts have international partnerships all over the world. A detailed list can be found on the following webpage of the City of Vienna. <inaudible> See also